With Elsa, we already know she can do the simple circle of commands of three steps, which is seek the food, come to me, and then to sit your butt on the ground. She's picking up the doglish intonations in the English conversation that you are, ha are having. But a lot of times you want to tell her not to do something. And particularly we want to, want to tell a dog not to bite. We can do a little bit of an IQ test with her by picking up a stupid word to see if we can teach her not to bite a liver treat when she hears a stupid word. Now seek seems to be in her head to mean I need to bite something. In this case she's choosing to do something, she's choosing to bite a liver treat. Look, she's looking at me. Good girl! Seek, two second delay, deliver the liver treat, she decides to bite. Let's do this little pulse again. Look, back to the ear. Good girl! Excellent! Seek, two seconds delay, deliver the liver treat, and she decides to bite. Let's pick something. Now, here's a stethoscope. And for, just to be totally stupid, I'm going to see if I can teach her not to bite the liver treat when she hears the stupid English word stethoscope. So let's see how she goes with this. This will be interesting. Look. Good girl. Seek. Two seconds delay. Offer. Decision to bite. Let's see if she makes a mistake here. Look. Good girl. Stethoscope. Two seconds delay. Decision to bite. But I remove it. That's one mistake. Stethoscope. Two seconds delay. Offer. Ah. Decision not to bite when she hears a stupid word. Stethoscope. So we remove it. We reward it with that tight underpants voice. Good girl! Excellent! Wonderful! Then we go back to the OK to bite word. Seek! And she decides to bite. Isn't that remarkable? Don't you think she's a clever dog? She's very clever. That's very clever. One mistake only and she got it. Well, was that an aberration? Let's do it again. Look. Good girl! Seek! Decision to bite. Let's do it again. Seek! Just to show you that that's not a hand signal. Seek! Good. Let's try that other magic word. Stethoscope. Ah, oh, that was a very definite decision not to bite. She said, I want to. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to. Good girl. Wonderful. Terrific. Seek. So even with this young, rambunctious, inattentive dog, she has a wonderful brain that works really well. Of course, we can do seek the other way. Seek. She goes right away from me. Come. She comes. Sit. She sits. Stethoscope. And she decides not to bite the liver treat when she hears stethoscope. Good girl! See? She's a peach. She's gorgeous. A very easy to train dog. Now, how stupid is it that if you didn't want her to chase the cat or to bark at the postman, you say, stethoscope! People would think you're an absolute lunatic. So we need to put a word in there which makes sense in your head, and that word would be leave. So let's see if she will convert to that English word that we all understand, which means leave. Seek. Good girl! Seek. Good girl. So here's the leave word. Let's get a nice big liver treat. So it's really tempting for her. Where's a big one? That's a big one. Here we go. Leave. And there's an automatic conversion from the stupidity of using stethoscope to using a more correct English word such as leave. Good girl. Wonderful. Seek. So clearly, she can understand the English concept of do this. Seek. Come. Sit. But don't do this. Leave. And when you can construct leave, followed by come and sit, that can solve a lot of things. Leave the person alone, come to me and sit. Excellent. Very clever dog. Yeah, so gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs>